along those lines, um, uh, I discuss some of the evidence around why it may be beneficial for patients to utilize complete margin analysis surgery when working in conjunction with other surgical colleagues like head and neck surgeons, surgical oncologists to treat these more aggressive tumors for a variety of reasons. So for the example of melanoma, we now have a, a number of studies and, and growing literature that supports the use of complete margin analysis surgery or, or, or most surgery, depending on which technique, um, subset of techniques that you utilize whether it's in a staged or or immediate fashion of doing that surgery the same day or bringing the patient back, um, that may have improved outcomes as it relates to recurrence and survival for those patients. And what I presented was um, uh, an approach that we utilized at the George Washington uh, University Cancer Center here in Washington, D.C., working with our head and neck colleagues that I, as the dermatologic surgeon, um, will perform the complete margin analysis surgery still um, using and uh, uh, not compromising the surgical margins, so still using the recommended large surgical margins for these tumors, but being able to analyze the complete margin uh, in a rapid fashion, and thereby making it easier for the head and neck surgeon or the surgical oncologist who's performing a lymph node biopsy or a lymph node resection dissection to complete that portion and repair the patient. We have now seen that that's that's uh, a superior approach for patients in terms of just coordination, the overall experience, and our gathering data to, to show that not only uh, is it not inferior, but we believe superior as it relates to patient outcomes. And the same approach exists for Mer Merkel cell carcinoma as well, because the approach in melanoma and Merkel cell, especially in the head and neck, uh, is similar. And in Merkel cell carcinoma, there may be even more evidence supporting why this would be helpful, especially being able to resect a tumor um, with a margin that allows for easier repair, easier healing uh, to get the patient now off to have adjuvant radiation performed at an earlier time point, as we've now seen the guidelines change that supports using radiation much earlier helps improve outcomes for patients. And so um, we discussed, or I discussed how we've incorporated that evidence to provide a higher level of care for patients so that they're able to receive that type of either adjuvant therapy or just have better outcomes because of that multidisciplinary approach uh, we've, uh, we've instituted. And this is being done at a number of centers across the U.S. now.